video cut off. My children apparently took a whole bunch of videos yesterday on my phone and I had to delete a bunch of them so I had space. So anyways, um, where were we? Oh yes. So um, some other family ones that you can get um, with the newborn is for mom or dad, um, what you can do instead of holding them like this or this. One last one that you can easily do at home and you do literally every single day is when you burp, and they can even be swaddled for this, instead of bringing them right up over, bring them down a bit and turn their face outwards. They're going to want to curl inwards because they want their snuggles, but try and curl them outwards a bit and then just hold them here and just kind of drop your head just gently to theirs. And that one you can do easily by yourself as well, both mom and dad. Um, also makes a really cute one if you can self-timer it and get the two of you together or if you have an older child who knows how to use the phone, have them stand up on the couch, take a picture of you guys in front of the window. So that's something that you can do to still get those newborn pictures. Um, again, their chances are they're not going to be quality enough where you can blow them up huge for on the wall, but you can at least print out a couple like 5x7s, 4x6s that you did yourself. Um, or even just have the digital files so that you can still show and still capture those times together until you can get to a professional. Um, for your um, some tips that I have for you guys is first of all, shoot natural light wherever possible. Natural light is going to give you the softest light, most true to color. Um, so if you can, if you are shooting with the natural light, make sure the other lights in the room are off unless you have daylight bulbs in. But even then, the natural light should be enough. Like today is cloudy outside and I have tons of light coming through. Um, again, this is a huge window, but even the rest of my house, like I don't have any lights on right now and there's still plenty of room to be able to photograph. So um, you can do that. Um, another one is if you have young, young children who are like crawling around or playing on the floor, get down at their level. So get right down, get on your belly, and take pictures of them down there, because two things are gonna happen. One, they're probably gonna interact with you more, which is gonna get you those really, really cute pictures where they're looking at the camera. But secondly, instead of just getting like the top of their head and having them crane way back when you call their name, this way you're down at their level, you're gonna get their whole face, their whole entire face, and it also gives a different perspective and a little more professional, because in the studio, we don't just stand up and shoot at your children, which sounded really bad, but anyways, we don't photograph your children we get right down to their level and that's what gives those little, that little bit more of a professional quality to them. Um, so that's one option of what you can do. Um, another thing that you can do is kind of just be patient with them. You may want to capture them doing a specific thing. If they don't want to do it, especially if they're about under the age of about four or five where you can kind of start to bribe them with treats and stuff, it's not going to get done. They don't want to do it. They're just going to scream. You're going to get upset. They're going to get upset. You're at home. You're in quarantine. If they don't want to do it then, wait an hour, wait two hours, do it tomorrow. Just kind of wait for them to organically do those things that you want to capture. Um, also another thing, just kind of let them be themselves. Let them do what they do on a daily basis and capture that because those are the things that you're going to want to remember that a lot of us don't even think to go and take pictures of on a daily basis. Things like story time, things like the older sibling is sitting there with the younger one watching a movie and they're cuddled up. The, the, he's making cereal for himself. Right now my kids are homeschooling, so them kind of sitting and doing the homeschooling and seeing the wonder on their face or the pride when they um, are able to do something that they couldn't do before. My daughter was playing the piano, which you heard earlier, taking pictures on the piano. So it's more capture those everyday moments. Um, make sure that you are getting in on some of them. Um, unfortunately, some partners do not necessarily think, oh, I should take a picture. Don't be afraid to ask, just say, honey, I really want a picture of me and the kids doing this. Here's my phone, can you take a picture for me? So still get into those pictures and do not be afraid to ask. I know I have a really hard time asking, so I tend to stretch out my arm and attempt to do a selfie. Um, plus I don't really have someone in the house with me that can do them. Um, but yeah, don't be afraid to ask, okay guys? Like, don't be afraid to ask and anyone else watching, if someone asks you to, please do it for them. It takes two seconds. And also just kind of be on the lookout for other people who may, who aren't thinking, who aren't gonna be comfortable asking, hey, can you take my picture? In the future, when you're finally able to go and hang out with the people again, um, just kind of keep, a mo keep an eye on those moments. I'm often snapping pictures of my friends and later I'll text it to them. They have no idea I took it and they absolutely love them. So um, that's a really good tip for you as well. Um, aside from that, um, lastly, I just want to touch base on my maternity clients. Um, things that you can do at home because um, it's, it's very time sensitive for you guys as well. 
So chances are, if you're due any time in the next like two, three months, chances are you're not gonna get your pictures taken um, by a professional. So what you can do to still be able to capture them is I tell my clients for what to wear, wear something comfortable for you. Wear something that you wear often, but you know, wear your nicer things. So like for me, um, I am wearing jeans today, but that's because I'm about to head out into the studio after this and do some work and it's cold out today. But in general, I live in leggings and a tank top with a light cardigan over top. That is what I live in. I wish that was in fashion when I was pregnant with my children, but if I was pregnant, that's what I would wear on a daily basis. So what I would do is I would wear my nice leggings, my newest ones that weren't all faded and that didn't have any holes in them. And I would wear a nice tank top that didn't have a bunch of, you know, gook on it. And I would wear a, a nice cardigan that coordinated with it. And that's what I would wear in my pictures. I would feel comfortable. I would feel like me, but I'm still wearing my nice clothes. That's all that you really need for doing your pictures. Um, and just do things like if you're someone who you sit and you have a coffee and you read a book every morning, go, okay, honey, we're doing our pictures in the morning. Sit, get comfy, make sure that your belly is showing. If you are going to sit and recline on the couch, put a rolled up tea towel behind the small of your back, roll two of them together and that'll help to support your spine and bring that belly out a little bit more for you so it's not as sunken in. That's one tip that I have for you. Um, and just kind of recline back with your coffee mug sitting on your belly and a book and get them to take a picture like that. Get that really beautiful lifestyle moment that you do every single day and still you're gonna get that pretty maternity picture. Um, stand in front of a window. Window light is like my go-to. You should see the windows I'm putting in my studio, y'all, because shooting natural light is where it's at, at least in my opinion. Some love studio light. I I have a studio light. I've been shooting studio lights the last couple months while I go on my friend's studio while mine's up and running, and like it's it's okay. I get it. I just personally love my natural light. So, um, but yeah, you can shoot natural light. It's the easiest thing to shoot in. Um, just stand in front of a window, take some pictures there. If you want something more studio esque, um, one tip that I have for you: all those pictures that you see of all my maternity clients in the really pretty gowns. 90% of those are sheets and fabric because I only own two maternity gowns. The rest of them, what I do is I actually wrap the fabric around them where it looks like it's a dress. Um, but one that you can do that's really simple and probably one of the most popular ones that I do because it is so easy is grab a sheet or if you have um, more than a meter of fabric, it takes at least a meter and a half. Two meters is perfect. Um, but if you're a sewer and you have some just jersey or something laying around, but for the most part, just grab a sheet, a plain sheet, wrap it behind you and just have on like a strapless bra and panties, or if you're comfortable going topless, feel free to do that. So just pull it behind you and pull it in front and just kind of bunch it together and hold it in front of your chest. So up here is going to be bare. You're going to have the split down the front. Um, so that your belly can poke through and you're going to stand sideways, have your belly poke through. The leg closest to the camera, you're gonna bring out of the sheet a little bit. So you're gonna be on um, the ball of your foot. So your heel's up on the ball of your foot, not way up on your tippy toe. I mean, you can do that, but really just going up to the ball of your foot enough where your knee is bent and poking through the sheet is perfect. And you're just gonna stand, take some pictures, look at the camera, look down, look up, look off to the side. You can even do some looking over your shoulder. That's really all you need to do. And you're gonna have that really, really pretty picture. You can either stand in front of a wall, you can stand in front of a window, um, lots of options and it's super easy for you to be able to get those pictures at home. Again, um, unless you have a really good camera, chances are you're just taking it with your phone, which is fine. You won't be able to blow them up, but for the most part, maternity pictures aren't really ones that people are blowing up anyways. It's generally those newborn ones. Um, so yeah, those are some tips of what you can do at home. You can also go for a walk and find somewhere really pretty and isolated and take some pictures there. So don't lose hope. There are things that you can do at home um, with your partner um, to be able to get those pictures still. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna end things there. Uh, what I will do is if there's anything that you guys want some tips on for capturing pictures or if you need help with anything, please just comment below, let me know. I'm more than happy to get back to you on those. Um, I'll be monitoring the comments, getting back to you. If you're a photographer, um, or if you have any tips for anyone on things that they can do at home to help with pictures, let's kind of work as a community here and we can help everyone out and fill in this little gap until everyone can get to their professional um, photographers again. 
but if there's anything that you need help with, whether it, anything you want me to do a video on to touch on, just let me know. I'm happy to do that for you. Like I said, I'm here for you. Um, if you have any questions, just let us know. Um, so I just want to say, lastly, a huge thank you to everybody that's out and working and making it so that I can safely stay home with my children during this really, really scary time. I really, really appreciate it and I want to thank you for that and just know that we are doing our part. Like I said, I don't even think I've left the house in two weeks um, aside from just to do like a quick drive around with the kids because we're cooped up in the house and we want to just go somewhere, anywhere, go for a drive through the country roads. Um, really appreciating the low gas prices now that I'm not commuting. <laughs> Anyways, um, just thank you so, so much for everything that you do. And uh, yeah, if anyone has questions, let me know. And I uh, hope that you enjoyed this and this was able to help you a little bit. And uh, yeah, stay safe, everyone. Stay healthy, stay happy. And one day this will end and we will 